Hello everyone, Ian here from Able City and Burbank. Today I am checking out the uh, Matrix 2 RGBW from Felix. And you can think of the Matrix as a punch light because its output has more directionality than a typical soft source. And a lot of that soft punch comes from the reflectors, which push light from the four LEDs through the diffusion layer. Instead of simply putting uh, reflectors around each array, what the Felix engineers did was they created custom reflectors to direct all four arrays in unison. And the result of that accomplishes a couple of things. First of all, it will reduce the splitting in shadows. It also enhances the color mixing. So it preserves enough of the fixtures multi-source profile for light shaping. So we can apply that to cutting with barn doors, and also using the optional Fresnel lens. I want to take the light out and shoot in three different modes to show you its versatility. But before I do that, I want to mention something about CCT. What makes Felix unique is how color is tracked. CCT, or correlated color temperature, does not change in a straight line. It curves in an arc with color space. And traditional bicolor lights plot change in a straight line between two points. And it doesn't take into account the shift in green and magenta. Felix lights not only change CCT in an arc, but plot magenta and green points as well. The shift is marked with a total of 24 reference points. So it's color CCT, green and magenta, eight points for each. Finally, LEDs and phosphors behave at different luminous values and they also behave differently at different temperatures. And Felix has taken that into consideration and added calibration points to account for that change. The result is a total of 192 calibration points to ensure proper CCT. I want to take a look at the menus and how to move around on these menus. To change a mode or to go into a mode, you have to use this menu button here. Double clicking gets you into sort of the top menu of what type of uh, mode you want the light to work in. Also notice that the light is turned off right now. Even with the lamp turned off, I can still go in and make adjustments to the menus, which is really helpful. Double clicking gets you back up to your top menu, DMX. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, CCT mode is Kelvin adjustment from 2800 to 10,000. Here I have a plus or minus green or a green magenta shift. And here I have my intensity. Going into my next mode is HSI. I'm going to use this uh, in a backlight to create a backlight. And notice I can go through the color wheel here and I can change saturation here. And again, I have the intensity. And notice with the intensity, as you get to the very bottom of intensity, you have these very small increments that you can use to adjust. And I found this incredibly helpful the other day when I was using it for a backlight because not only did it help me get exposure, it got the nuance of that color just right. So incredibly helpful feature. In addition to that, uh, we now have a gel mode. And the gel mode, if I go in here and I select this once, I can go down and I can now start to uh, select presets. And whatever preset I choose, I can go in. And now I can go through, if I click on, I can do hue, saturation, and intensity. I also have the effect mode. And as you can, as you can gather from that, you have things like candle, club light, lightning, fireworks. Again, I click once, and then I can go in, and I can go and choose which of those attributes of the effect I want to control. So before we go out to shoot, I want to mention it's 9.7 pounds. In terms of its size, well, here's a gold mount battery, so you kind of have that reference point. So very small, compact, lightweight lamp uh, producing a lot of light. First mode we're going to look at is the HSI mode. So that's going to allow me to uh, create custom hue and saturation as well as intensity settings. So. I have the lamp turned off, and now I'm going to just go and start increasing the intensity. And what I want you to notice is as I do this, you see how evenly it's now throwing onto my white seamless. So we're about, I'd say, four, four and a half feet from the seamless. And now I'm going to dial in some saturation, or hue rather. 
And let's bring in some saturation. All right, now you start seeing some interesting color here. That's full saturation and hue. Now let's run around and create some custom colors with the hue here. And as you can see, it has such a wide throw and an even throw that just four feet away from a seamless, you now can create uh, custom colors for your background. All right, give me a little bit of a wide shot here so you can see how we're going to do uh, this lighting setup. I have my matrix here with the soft box on it. So it's providing a soft fill light. I have my key soft light coming in from the side here. We're looking at an 8 and a 5.6 on the fill side. That's rating it 800 ISO. And you can see that I have another matrix in the background with this blue background. And I might play with that a little bit. And I'm also going to take some readings with my C800, my uh, Sekonic color temp meter. And we'll put those readings up on screen for you to see. Then we're going to take uh, a Helium 8K RED camera in anamorphic format and we'll shoot some 8K footage and then we'll put that in Resolve and we're gonna subsample it down to 1920 by 1080 so you can see what it looks like from an 8K sensor. All right, so we stepped outside and what I wanna do now is I'm going to put the Fresnel in front of the matrix. I wanna get that beam even more concentrated because what I want to do now is I want to make a hard edge light with the lamp. So what I've done is I've situated us, uh, we're going to shoot on the other side of this vehicle, but you can notice the sun is coming in kind of over my shoulder. So I want to have that same effect of creating a rim of hard light on the driver of the truck uh, so that it kind of matches the natural light source we have here. And of course, I'm going to measure the color temperature with my color temp meter, and we'll set it on this. That wraps up my look at the Felix Matrix 2 RGBW. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.